Hello folks, this is Kinky, uh, doing Iron Man, Air, Land, and Sea, part 15, and good lord, look at this freaking ship. <laughs> uh, anyway, as I was saying in the last video, uh, pretty much, uh, if, you ha if you're new to Battleground Europe, uh, what I was saying in the last video is, go ahead and try them out, and if you're joining the uh, Axis side, uh, just hang around the north. Uh, anywhere where the naval naval guys are, uh, generally was where the best action is. Same with the Allied naval. Uh, there's a lot of good Allied pilots that will support the naval troops and whatnot. Uh, the army generally, army and the Harry units are just kind of well crazy, but everybody else kind of works together. But anyway, it looks like this time we're in some sort of crazy battleship that definitely looks like something out of 1943. <laughs> uh, if you want to care to identify it, you can. Uh, it looks like there's two runways. Uh, one, one naval cannon, uh, about four or five... Uh, 50 cal, which would represent probably pom poms or flak flak cannon guns. Uh, so I don't know what all the bazookas and the mortar stuff are for. Maybe they were intending that for something else. But yeah, we're but looks like we're at the penultimate mission here. And again, why wasn't this used in a first person shooter uh sort of thing? Come on, come on now, we could do it <laughs> uh but oh, well, it looks like it has single deck guns too. Hmm. dang, I was kind of hoping I could hit that thing with it with a deck gun I mean with the naval gun, oh well. Now, it looks like those ships just don't sink. Uh, but pretty much this mission is pretty straightforward. Just go to where the red dots are. And just constantly keep your eyes peeled. And then it's done. That's a relatively short mission. But I think this is the final one in the game. It looks like it. But, uh... Oh, looks, we, looks like we got rammed. Dang. Arg. And it'll just auto-loads for you. Yeah, this is the final mission. So pretty much just follow the red dots and do your trial and errors and there you go. It's pretty easy. And uh, it looks like that's the end of this one, and we move on to the next one. But like I said, video, what happened to to you? Once you got the Sarge's Heroes, you just totally neglected all this. I mean, this all this stuff here looks pretty fun. Uh, just manning all the cannons, all the guns, you know. Uh, Supply ticket based uh, spawn or something. It looks, I mean, that would be a really nice first person shooter MMO. And uh, if there's any game developers out there, look at this. I mean, this would make an excellent, excellent MMO, I think. And hopefully, if 2K Sports does it, I hope they keep it simple. Uh, rather than this new garbage that they're showing out, because uh, I mean that's the original 3DO stuff it was rather simple, and then they all of a sudden changed companies and it just started turning to crap. So uh, either get rid of it, uh, stop being greedy, and or let it be open source or something so people can make some mods and some sort of MMO or something, you know, because. Dang, this would be hell. This would be fun. Dang. 
The only thing I don't know is about flying the fighter planes. That'd be neat though. Also, I don't know what the mortars and the bazookas and whatnot are there for. I guess it's in case you're slow or something. But, uh, like I said, this thing is just really kick ass. It looks like that's a Japanese style carrier. That's kind of cool. Uh, but 3 do uh, kind of sucks that you went bankrupt, but, uh, dang, this is the stuff that players would really enjoy, and lose the, lose the fancy graphics, lose the portal junk, just keep it simple like this, sure, you would have probably made a whole heck of a killing. And it's rather sad that they, uh, you know, went bankrupt, and because uh, they had a really great series going. And I mean, look at this. Just, just looking at the games here so far. Oh, and look, torpedo bombers. Looks like an attempt at midway. That's pretty neat. And it looks like the Tan fleet is turned back. And here's the ending cutscene. Uh, pretty much the Tan soldier is getting up from his uh, river boat and gets rammed. <laughs> I feel bad for the Tan soldier because I've been that way before. Even the green guy's like, oh. <laughs> but, uh, we just move on. And yep, win the battle. Enemy fleet sunk. And we're I guess we're going back to the tile screen. So uh, this is Kinky signing out. Uh, thank you. And hope you enjoyed the LP so far. And moving on to the next one, uh, Army Man Final Assault or Army Man Lock and Load, the same title. Later.